Starting in our OCI console, let's head to the network visualizer and get a look at our current network that's set up for this demo. This can be found by going to the top left hamburger menu, going down to networking, and then selecting network visualizer. Once open, you'll be presented with the network constructs that's currently in your OCI environment for the region you selected. So for this demo to the right, you see that I have three VCNs that are attached to a DRG in the middle. And to the left, I have an IP set tunnel or tunnels that are attached to the DRG as well. These attachments have metrics associated with them. If we go to the DRG itself, we can see that we can also review information about the attachments themselves. So we have our VCN attachments. We also have our IP set tunnel attachments. And if we take a look, at the route table assigned to our VCN attachments. We'll note that we have routes for both uh, VCN attachments and the IP set tunnels themselves. So at this point, let's check out our metrics. Detailed DRG attachment metrics can be found by going to the observability and management section of OCI. So on our top left hamburger menu, if we go down to that selection, if we go to monitoring, we can bring that right up. And within the service metrics, we'll want to pick out the metric namespace for the OCI dynamic routing gateway. And once this is selected, we'll have many different metrics available to you. So we can see things now such as bytes sent from the DRG, bytes sent to the DRG, packets sent to the DRG, and packets sent from the DRG. Uh, notice that in the metrics that uh, what we see is presented by the attachment itself. And we can do many different things with this, such as filtering. So we can go to our dimensions. We can actually filter by attachment type or OSIT, route table, resource ID. But if I pick attachment type and I select IP set tunnel, now the metrics show only the particular data from the IP set tunnel metrics. If I flip this to the VCN, hit done. Now we can see metrics for just the VCN attachments themselves. We can take this a step further by actually creating alarms uh, for the metrics and also creating notifications from the alarms themselves. So if we go to the alarm definitions on the left, we can continue forward with this. When creating an alarm, we'll need to define an alarm name, and if needed, a severity level as well. Uh, say, for example, we want to create an alarm that will send us a notification if an IP set tunnel is down. The first thing we'll need to do is select the OCI dynamic routing gateway from the metric namespace. And for this, let's select bytes to DRG attachment for the metric name and set the uh, stats to min. For our attachment type, again, we want the IP set tunnel. And then let's create a trigger for less than one for over a period of five minutes. So essentially, if we receive zero bytes over the attachment for five minutes, we need to be alarmed and receive a notification. So if I scroll down, I can set a notification and I'm gonna create a new topic and notification with a topic name. And we have many options to us on how we want to be notified, whether it's a function, Slack, SMS, it's all available to you here. To learn more about OCI and best practices, please visit our website at oci.com.